Welcome back to the Gaylord College of Journalism and Mass Communication series on video production safety. This module is about grip equipment. As always, if you feel unsafe using any of the equipment or facilities, then stop what you're doing and seek assistance. Your safety and the safety of your crew always comes first. First, let's reintroduce a few familiar and maybe not so familiar pieces of equipment you're likely to see in our studios or out in the field. The C-Stand, Light Stand and Light Kits, Flags and Diffusion, and Sandbags. Let's talk a bit about C-Stands. Your average production C-Stand is usually around three feet folded up and maybe eight feet tall at full extension. It has three legs of varying height that fold into each other if you need to collapse the stand or can be folded back out for maximum support. Atop the C-Stand is usually this bracketed offset arm and clamp allowing you to secure lights, flags, cards, or many other things to a C-Stand. In this example configuration, a light has been placed on end of the C-Stand's arm, with a sandbag on the other end acting as a counterbalance. A sandbag has been placed on the C-Stand's foot to also provide more support, and finally the cord has been wound down the arm, down the stand, and off to a wall outlet instead of just dangling. When outside, a C-Stand is great for providing diffusion from the sun or bouncing the sun's light, but they must be adequately weighed down. In general, it's never a good idea to walk away from an unsecured C-Stand inside or out. When not in use, C-Stands are typically stored standing up, folded into one another by positioning their feet into a pattern which allows them to share very little space. Next, we'll discuss our light kits and light stands. These kits are designed to be used out in the field and are very versatile in what they can offer you for your lighting needs. They'll usually have one or more light stands like this, which unfold with the legs spread evenly. Of note, this is an unsafe leg configuration, as is this. Ideally, the legs should be at about a 50 degree angle to the floor. A word of caution, do not over tighten any of the brackets on C stands, light stands, or anything else. A minimum amount of resistance is all that is needed to secure these mechanisms and over tightening can cause damage to the equipment. The Lao kit will have a selection of lights, which are wall powered. It is worth knowing a thing or two about lights and power when on location. In short, a two prong household wall outlet can handle usually around 1000 watts of electricity. Two outlets in the same face may handle about 1500 watts safely. But beyond that, depending on the age of the house and fixtures, you run the risk of flipping a circuit breaker when plugging in any more wattage. You must know how much wattage each light will draw before attempting to plug in multiple circuits on a single power strip going to a household outlet. Ignoring electrical loads, whether in studio or out on remote, may cause you and your crew to be put in a dangerous fire situation. Once you've placed your light stand, attach the light head and plug it in. Then, consider looping the cord around one leg of the stand. The idea here is that if you do not have a sandbag available to you and the light gets accidentally pulled, it will pull from the base and not pull over from the top. Follow the steps in from the previous module if you are in the field and have a light bulb burst. Be sure, prior to replacing lamps in the field, that you have not tripped a breaker. This will save you time and is an additional safety check. When finished with your lights, do not touch them until they have had ample time to cool off. As always, never touch a recently operating hot light. Furthermore, never place still warm lights back into their case. A good practice is to strike lighting last as you prepare to break down your equipment. This means that you turn lights off first as you prepare to strike. Go ahead and strike the rest of the gear, leaving the lamps until last to pack and remove from the stands and location. There is a ton more grip equipment available to you at Gaylord College that we cannot cover in this single video. For further information on that equipment and how to use it safely, ask your instructors for help. As always, if you feel unsafe using any of the equipment or facilities, then stop what you're doing and seek assistance. Your safety and the safety of your crew always comes first.